Hey there, design enthusiasts. Welcome back to my channel, where I bring you the best tips and tricks for all your design needs. Today, we're diving into the world of curves, a powerful tool that can help you create stunning designs with ease. If you're new to curves or just looking to brush up on your skills, this tutorial is perfect for you. So let's get started. I get this drawing. You can take a screenshot or visit my webpage at cadmus.com where you can find this drawing and others. I will post a link. All right, so let's have a look at this drawing. We get a, a curved surface here. There's a radius of 2,222, a length from edge to edge of 3,888, a height or width of 1,644, and then we get on that curved surface another curve or a channel or half pipe, or you want to call it. Um, we get this auxiliary view where we can find the radius of that, 111. The center point is right on that edge of our sheet. The sheet thickness is 12 millimeters here. The curve starts 444 from that edge. And here you see the definition how that curve is defined 666 same radius over here and that is symmetrically above um the whole over the whole length all right um let me show you which commands i'll be using I'll start with one sketch, extrude that as a surface extrude, sketch um, that curve, project that on that surface, create a plane on um, that path, make a sweep, then make a mutual trim between surface bodies and finally thicken. All right, so um, let's start with a sketch on the front plane. I press N for a normal view to that, P to hide the sketches. Then take my center point arc from that center point, do something like that, make with H, a horizontal relationship between those two points. D um, to dimension that radius two 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 two. Fit that on the screen and give that overall length here of uh, three thousand eight hundred eighty eight. All right. Accept that and go into the extrude, go to the surface tab, take that surface and extrude um, those 1644. All right, there we get that extrusion. Next. I will start another sketch on the top plane. Press N again to have a normal view to that. And start sketching with a line. Go over here. Go straight. Take that uh, tangent arc, pressing down the left mouse, mouse button. Drop that somewhere here. Do that once more. Drop it there. Get out of there. Press I to make that coincident on that edge. Press D to dimension those 
444. Uh, um, continue dimensioning those 666. Press E to make a equal dimension of those two. Press V for a vertical um, relationship between those here. And press H for a horizontal relationship here and everything's defined so far. Press L plus Q to make this here a construction line, vertical construction line just for mirroring purposes. Take that line and get those over there. And that it that's it for sketch number two. And now let's get into those curve um, environment. So here are those curves. We got the helix, 3D fit spline, projected curve, bridging curve, composite curve, and intersection curve. We'll take the projected curve and take those edges here and project that um, with a direction to the top um, view, turning that around, and our target is our sheet here. All right, we get a preview in magenta, and there is our curve. So we got a, a curve folder here. I can hide that surface and here, that is our curve. All right, so now let's continue with a plane on that end point in the direction of the, our curve. So I go to plane go to curve point, take that and our one part of our curve here, accept that and start that sketch on that plane. Press N again, press S for the circle. I'll draw that over here, dimension that with Two, two, two diameter. Press I for coincident here. The sketch is fully defined. I hide that plane and I make a sweep, surface sweep of our sketch, and the sweep path is our curve. All right. So next is our is the mutual trim. You can find that here. Last mutual trim. All right, so we want to get rid of that inner part of our pipe and that bottom part of that pipe. So I take that body and I take that one and accept that. And if things didn't work out for for you that that you trimmed um, the outside part of the sheet or the upper part of that pipe, okay, you just press on those arrows until you get it right. All right. We got one surface because I had checked that box here, merge. Great. Now let's thicken our surface body. Select those faces and give it that 12 millimeter thickness. So if you want to 
color that as in the thumbnail. You can first go to our part and give that maybe a yellow appearance and then go to those pipe parts and pressing down the, the shift button. Pick those faces, go to add appearance to six faces and choose the color you like. And that's it for um, our exercise. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I see you in the next video.